Uh, when I, yeah. My early so days were was... filled with regret or embarrassment. More like discovery. Like, aha, here's something everyone else has known about for years. And finally, I've joined the secret club. I was like the last guy to get a driver's license. And suddenly, I, <laughs> now I get this experience as well. You were that guy that all the rest of us that matured early would be at the lunch table with. And of course, we were all talking about girls. And someone would be like, why are you talking about girls? We could talk about this or that or the other thing. And it's like, ah, oh, you're not just true. Like, not, no, oh, I was maybe deep not. into yeah. girls, so into girls. I remember in my head, I would have imaginary conversations with girls being like, no, sex is safe with me. I can't even ejaculate yet. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> As if that was a selling point. And, and what did they <laughs> say to that? Did they go? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is all that didn't actually happen. I wasn't getting girls or even getting close. But it, in my head, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could just get like a girl under the boardwalk back there, I, and I would explain to her that I can't even come. Jesus. And, and is, that, is that what you thought? Like, what do, what do girls like? <laughs> at my age, do they like masculine men? No, they like non-threatening, prepubescent boys. That's what they want. Non-threatening. Uh, Don't worry about me. Not going to knock you up. I'm just here for a few minutes. Yeah, you know, was, can you, can you drop head, me off after this? Part of the <laughs> selling point. You know, yeah. That's And under the boardwalk, I don't know if that sounds rapey to Kyle because he screamed Jesus, but that's like a hookup spot, like down by the lake, you know.